Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back. You know, I see every single one of you. I don't think there's one person missing this week, so, so that's pretty good. You know, in today's video, I find this Bluetooth speaker, but it's not just a speaker. It does one or two other things, but you're going to have to watch the video to find out what. And along the journey, I find about 15 other items that I think you'll be interested in. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this video started. Well, good morning, everyone. You know, we're almost ready to start thrifting, but I want to give you today's trivia question before we go. You know, when I'm out thrifting, I find a lot of bike parts. And bike parts usually sell pretty fast and for pretty decent money. Well, one of the better sellers is Schwinn bicycles. So let me give you today's trivia question based on that. In what year did the Schwinn bicycle company open? And in what state did they open in? Well, I'll give you that answer later on in the video. But for now, let's get thrifting. Well, when I got to the store, I had to walk right over to their Halloween section because they had moved all their Halloween stuff right up to the front of the store. The first thing I saw was this Halloween radio. You turn the dial, it plays spooky music, and it talks. It was only $4, and online they go for around 30 So, first item of the day. Further down on the Halloween aisle, I saw this skull. It was made by this company, Jemmy. They make a lot of these animated and light-up figures. Well, this one was $3. I figured I could get 15 to 20 for it. And I sell a lot of stuff by Jimmy, so this went in the cart. Well, when I got that spooky skull home, I put some batteries in it, and it worked. And it worked really well. So I listed it on eBay for $15.95 plus $9.95 shipping. And it sold within two nights. So I was pretty happy with that. Okay, now back to the video. I kept walking around the store till I came across this table. I saw this carry-on luggage. It was by this company, Xiaomin. They were asking $6 for it, but they go for 30 And this was in like new condition. So I figured I would get close to that. And I put this in the cart. Next up was their toy aisle, where I saw this Disney Frozen playset. They were asking $10 for it. But you see the retail sticker there? They only go for $19.99. So I had a pass on it. Well, underneath it was this Barbie doll. It was $3. Now, this is not one of the more expensive ones, but I figured I could get $15 for it. As I got closer to this aisle, I saw on that second shelf down that beer tasting kit. Well, it turns out that it was by this company, Spiegelau. I looked them up, and they're pretty well known for their beer glasses. Goodwill was only asking $4 for the set, and online they go for $30. So, homeward bound it went. Next, I found myself on this aisle, but there was nothing here that I really liked. I checked a few prices, but there was nothing. So I decided to go to the other side of the aisle and see if there were better pickings over there. So off I went. When I got to this side of the aisle, I wasn't seeing much better stuff on this side either. I did notice this glass. I thought it was Pyrex. But it wasn't. It was a dish by J.A.J., -A, a company from England. Goodwill was asking $2 for it, and they go for $25 online. Well, that's about it for the first store of the day. So let's get heading out to the car and see what we can find at the next store. Let's go. Okay, guys, it's time to be heading to the next store of the day. But I have to tell you something. You know, as most regular viewers to my channel know, Subscribers get to sit up in the front seat where we have a lot of fun and it's just one big party. Non-subscribers have to sit in the back seat and it's not fun back there at all. It can even get scary. But what's happening now is it's getting so full back there, I'm going to have to come up with another way to get you guys to follow us to the stores. Well, here's what I came up with. Well, guys, I hope you like it because here it is. I spared no expense on this. Well, it's the best thing I could come up with on a moment's notice. Now, when everybody gets in, you non-subscribers, someone's... Okay, I just want to come right out and say it. We don't have a horse to pull the wagon. 
So you non-subscribers are going to have to take turns pushing and pulling the wagon all the way to the next door. Plus, I don't want to hear any complaints if it starts to rain, because you could easily solve that. Just click the subscribe button. You'll be transported right up here to the front seat and join in on the fun and stay dry. Okay, it's up to you. Well, let's get into that next door. When I got to the store, I decided to start my search on their back wall. Well, I saw this speaker. Yeah, that one right there. Well, it was $6.99. But the cool thing about this speaker is you sync it with another speaker anywhere in the world. And whatever happens on this speaker will happen on the other. That speaker is pretty cool. You hook it up and then through Wi-Fi, you can hook it up to anyone else who has one of these boxes. And then when you're thinking about that person, you touch the box, it starts flashing and blinking. And at their house, it does the exact same thing. So it shows them that you're thinking about them at the moment. I think it was a pretty cool idea. Well, it ended up selling for $27.95 plus $9.95 shipping. So I did okay with it. Okay, now back to the video. While I was walking around the store, I noticed this mailbox. It's a singing, talking Christmas mailbox. It tells kids to put their mail inside them. It's really cool. It lights up. It's very animated. They were asking $9.99 for it. But remember, it's 25% off day. When I got to this row, I came across a shelf with a lot of bobbleheads on it. Well, the only one I really liked was this Florida Marlins one. It had some age to it. It was $4.99 on a 25% off day. So I figured I could make money on it. And I put it in the car. I came over to this part of the store because I saw all these bins lined up, but most of them just had junk in them. And then I saw this bicycle seat. It was made by Schwinn. It was in really good shape. They didn't have a price on it, but I ended up getting it for $6.99 and they go for about 30 bucks on eBay. Well, that was about all for this store. I was getting ready to leave. And then I noticed on my right, this DVD set for the movie 300. And it also came with that helmet. It's a replica helmet from the Roman times. It was $8.99 and these things go for over $50. Wow. Okay, it's time to head to the last store today. So everybody just pile in. Well, except for you non-subscribers because you have a wagon to be pushing. Well, we'll be at the next store in about 10 minutes and you guys pushing a wagon in about two and a half hours. But we'll wait for you. Don't worry, because we still like you. Okay, I'll meet you at the next door. On this first aisle, they had a whole bunch of plans and some picture frames that I'm not very crazy about. So I was just going to leave this aisle. And then I saw this teapot. It had cat designs on it. and It was kind of cute. It was made by Paul Cardew. They were only asking $3 for it. And online, they go for 25 When I got to this row, I noticed a severed arm on the ground. So I asked the girl, I said, why is that here? She said, because that's the arm of the last guy that asked for a discount. I said, oh, okay. And I quickly continued on my journey, knowing I was gonna pay full price today. I walked over to this aisle, where thankfully there were no more dismembered body parts. I saw this mug. It had a barbershop quartet on it. It was pretty cool looking. It was only $3. But then I realized this wasn't a mug. It was a flower planter, which made me want it even more. It was so cute. I had to put it in a cart. I don't usually pick up items unless they have a brand name on them. But I thought this planter was so cute that I had to pick it up. Well, someone else thought it was cute too, because it ended up selling for $12.95 plus $6.95 shipping. So I did okay with it. Okay, now back to the video. Well, as my journey continued, I came over to this aisle. And at the end of this aisle, on that second shelf, I saw this P-Touch label maker. These go for like 30 and $35. They were only asking $5 for it. So I had to put this in the cart. It's definitely going home with me. They had set out this nice table with that Mickey Mouse, 
but I passed on the Mickey Mouse because he wasn't worth enough. But then I saw this Florida Seminoles picture frame. I have good luck with football stuff, and for only $3, I figured this was an easy 15 Next up, I found myself on this aisle. They had some pretty nice stuff, but, you know, if you can't find things you can make money on, you have to leave them. So I headed to the next aisle. Not very often do you find me on the shoe aisle, because I'm not big into clothes and stuff like that. But I did see this pair of very colorful shoes. They were made by this company, Hot Chocolate Designs. Goodwill was asking $10 for them, and online these go for like 40 and up. So today I'm a shoe guy. Well, I had looked through those bins, so I decided to just head up to the cashier and pay for this stuff. And definitely not ask for a discount. And then I'll meet you guys out in the car. See you out there. Well, guys, it's that sad part of the day when I have to say goodbye. But there are two things I want to tell you before I go. First is that if you go to any Goodwill and you see any type of severed body part, do not ask for a discount. That's a warning. And secondly, I want to give you the answer to today's trivia question. The Schwinn Bicycle Company opened its doors in 1895, and it quickly became the premier bike maker in the United States. In 1992, they went bankrupt. Yeah, I was shocked to hear that too. Well, the Pacific Cycle Company bought them out, and they still own them to today, but they still use the Schwinn label. Okay, well, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.